Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a puzzle progression or best puzzles for toddlers video. Basically I'm going to share with you guys kind of the progression of the puzzles my two-year-old son kind of has gone through. Some of these are what he started with, still kind of plays with, and then we kind of will graduate to kind of harder puzzles that he needs more hands-on with me and that he is still trying to figure out and learn. So if you are interested in seeing all the puzzles that my son has been loving and has used throughout the past two years, then keep watching. So probably one of the first puzzles that any baby toddler starts to get are the shape sorting kind of puzzles. So this is actually from Melissa and Doug. It's the match and roll shape sorter and we got this when he was itty bitty baby. Now he can put them in the right colors. He can turn them in the right directions. Some of these like you have to have the sides in the right direction or won't fit things like that. So this is definitely one of those first steps for puzzles for your child. I also like that it can roll so he can like turn it over himself. You can build towers with it, things like that. But this is typically one that a lot of people know about to kind of start with and I highly recommend it. We still use this one. The next step is the chunky puzzles from Melissa and Doug. I think this is what I have. Yep. Disney, Melissa and Doug. And you'll see a lot of Disney here. Everything that I can find, I will link down below for you guys who are interested. But this is a great way because they can start matching the similarities Mickey on Mickey, Minnie on Minnie. He now completes this super fast, but this is kind of the first starter puzzles for your little one is the chunky puzzles. Along with that is this one. Now these are kind of similar to those busy boards that you have, but at first we just kind of were practicing putting the puzzle pieces in. Now we are untying and trying to tie, opening the buttons, doing the zipper, all that kind of stuff, the buckle, things like that. So this now has kind of graduated with us and we are still working on it. Now we're actually doing the pieces, but before it was a really good kind of just try and figure out how it fits back in the puzzle. And yeah, this one is awesome for growing with your baby just because of all the different skills they can learn with it. So the next puzzles we graduated to are still by Melissa and Doug and one of them is Disney, one of them's not. But these are the sound puzzles, which are really neat. My son is sleeping and this is nap time, so I'm not gonna turn it on. But this one does the different vehicle noises. So we have boat, race car, fire truck, airplane, and he's now starting to say the words along with the puzzle. And he likes to hear all the different noises they make. So this is a really fun one. Then our other sound puzzle is the Old McDonald Classic. And it has all of the noises. It will sing the song. What I will say for the noise puzzles, especially the ones I have from Melissa and Doug, make sure you turn it off and then put them away. Because sometimes when you keep them on and then it starts and then it starts to get light out again, they will start singing in the middle of the night. So make sure these are turned off when you're done using them so you don't wake up to Old McDonald really loud in the middle of the night. But these are perfect. Next steps are the ones with the little pegs in them. A couple other peg puzzles we have. We have the Melissa and Doug sorting fish. So this one they can sort and say what kind of color they are. You can mix them up. Jackson doesn't like when they're mixed up, but he likes them on the proper ones or he'll just make a big joke about it. So this one is really nice to teach colors. I also have a, a numbers one that he's started to figure out as well and he's now saying what the number is with it. There are like seven ladybugs, so he'll count them and say seven ladybugs. There are three fish, so things like that. So it's really nice that they can start counting, learning, and doing the puzzle as well. And then the next one, we're still working on this one. He knows kind of where they go, but I'm still trying to work on W is for whale, things like that, or J is for jump rope. He says them on a couple of them, but not all of them. So this is kind of, we're a still work in progress for a two-year-old. So the next progression in puzzles for us are the Nivio Toys Wooden Puzzle. And this one comes with six puzzles. It says it's for ages one to three. Jackson definitely can do this all by himself. What I like to do now is just kind of throw a bunch of them, like dump them all out, mess up all the puzzles, mix them together, and he can create the shapes and stuff too. So what this is, is a wooden puzzle kind of with chunky pieces on it. There are kind of designs on one side 
and not on the other, but he has pretty much mastered these. So there's a car, a ladybug, a boat, butterfly, owl, and a teddy bear. And he has mastered this. He figures them out. So whenever I want some time to kind of have to myself and have him work on a puzzle, those are kind of the ones I just dump on the ground and have all of the outlined wooden pieces around him. And he will go to town and have at it. So this one is a really nice find if you have one to three year olds. These next ones are probably his favorites right now. These are from These Tech. I have the dinosaur ones and I have the farm animals or just animals in general. There's like a dog, bunny, things like that. These are really nice because they have puzzles that have three pieces. I think they go up to eight. They're all color coded on the back so they can count one, two, three. But these are really easy. It comes with a sheet of paper that kind of you can outline what it looks like. But these are really nice for starter puzzles for your toddler that's not in those pegboards. The cardboard is pretty thick so he can't break them and bend them and they're really neat and nice. So this one is like one of the three puzzles, the little doggy. But these are excellent. I have in my Myrtle Beach vlog video, I will post it here, a couple of videos of him doing these and he loves them. I love them. And I've been really impressed he's starting to figure all these out on his own. That's why we picked out the dinosaur one as well. Now why I mentioned the cardboard is stronger. We picked out a set of two from Pooh Bear, Disney Pooh Bear. This is just their puzzles, it's a 24 piece puzzle. And these are just not good for toddlers unless you have good supervision. They're very thin and Jackson just kind of has been breaking off the pieces. So I had to actually get rid of one and throw it away. I think he needs to get a little older or I need to be there with him for this. But this I think is the next progression, but I don't, I don't think we're there yet. Another kind of puzzle thing that I have really enjoyed and he likes doing is this Melissa and Doug See and Spell puzzle. So basically all of the, it has a side where all of the letters are so he can start having some letter recognition and then there are a whole bunch of wooden cards that have the blank spaces so you can spell out cat so i'll say we need to find a c we need to find an a we need to find a t and he'll start finding those and putting them in here and they're double-sided as well so it's really nice because you have a lot of different activities you can do with your child and he has really enjoyed that one. Next progression, I mentioned this in my Mommy and Toddler's Favorites for last month. I will link the video above. But this is a Noah's Ark puzzle. So this, I think, is the next progression. Jackson's actually starting to figure this out. We've done this so much. He now knows to pair the two cows together to kind of find their tail, things like that. So this is nice because it has the big outline that's wooden and all same as those beast tech ones they're a little bit thicker of a puzzle piece so they don't break and stuff and jackson can hammer it now we do have a little incident right here because he tried to fit a piece that didn't work and flamed his ham real hard but you know toddlers but this is another great kind of progression is finding a big outline one i'll try and link this one down below i couldn't find it on Amazon, but it is on like calendar.com. But I'll see if I can find a similar one as well down below for you guys. And then the next step for that that we have been working on are these puzzles right here. This is from Bees Tech, so same as the animal and dinosaur puzzles, but this is a four in one puzzle, so they have 20 pieces. So they are square puzzles, as you can see. I'm gonna kind of keep them inside because they come out, they break. But there are four different puzzles in here. There's bear, brown bear, polar bear, foxes, and tigers. You can use the sheet of paper as a guide and they are different color coding on the back so you know what puzzle goes to what if everything kind of gets mixed up. I try and have it put away nicely so that the puzzle is put together and then we break it apart to rebuild it. But this one is the next step. I have been working with Jackson on this one. He does still need help. So that's why I think this is our next step. I will leave also a couple of the ones that are on my wish list of things to get him. But that is pretty much it for puzzles for your two year old and my two year old. These are really great puzzles to stimulate them mentally, get them learning their shapes, colors, sounds, just 
start talking different things. So I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know your favorite puzzle for your toddler down below. If you have one you recommend, I'd love to check it out. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it